In India, the business of hiring out horse-drawn carriages has been around for more than a century. Even today, chariots are still a must-have at weddings and other important events. Channel News Asia's Zain Awan visits one such hire shop in Chennai that looks like a relic from the past. Johnny is getting ready, not to run a race or a game of polo, but for a wedding. Johnny belongs to a horse and carriage hire shop in India's southern city of Chennai, a family business that's been around for over a century. The shop has 10 carriages, many over 100 years old. Along with bridles and harnesses, the place looks like it belongs to another era. Tenavan's family business has been passed on over generations. They buy and refurbish carriages, then hire them out for functions, mostly marriages. And it seems that business is still good, even after 137 years. Horse-drawn carriages are popular in and around Chennai. No wedding is complete without them. Our marriage, no, traditionally, we have, we have got to, we have to make a procession in which uh, that buggy and uh, horses are required for uh, that particular purpose, for procession. India has a tradition of using horses and carriages. When Pranab Mukherjee was sworn in as the current president of India, he chose this royal mode of conveyance to enter into the presidential palace. Even India's first prime minister, Jawaharlal Nehru, used galloping buddies to go to work. And so did Mahatma Gandhi. Some animal rights activists might object to the use of horse carriages. But for many, like Tenavan, it's a source of income and also buys these horses the love and care of their masters. Zainavan for Channel News Asia, India.